All right, guys, now as I sit down to start editing what was quite a interesting backcountry adventure, I did want to touch on the RC Freedom Fox winners. If you guys hadn't seen the announcement yet of who won, I did want to say congratulations to Russell Plouffe, Ralphie, and Calvin Hain. If I haven't gotten in contact with you guys yet, make sure you get in contact with me so we can get those RC Freedom Fox is coming your way. For those of you that didn't win, there's actually another giveaway we're gonna talk about later in this video where you can actually have a chance to win a 2020 Land Rover Defender. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, Omaze. But more on that later, but for the impatient ones, you can go ahead and go to omaze.com slash Trent for more info. But let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm Trent Palmer. I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. Okay guys, I am going to try to take 2020 back because 2020 obviously has been a horrible year, just in general. But from a flying standpoint, all of the events that we had planned to go to have been canceled. And then the one event that was left that we were excited about was Arkenstall that we all had planned to go to. And as the time got closer, guys started dropping out. And then with the smoke and then this cold front that came through, the weather kind of didn't let us get going in time. So unfortunately we will be missing Arkansas. But since I already had kind of blocked out this whole week to go flying, I figured let's get loaded up. We're gonna go up north. I have never done the true Idaho backcountry experience as far as jumping and camping at different strips. So that is the plan for this one. We're heading north. This is gonna be a big adventure. Let's do it. Wrong Rome, man. So we'll guys. just hang around you. Yeah. What's up, guys? What's up? All right, now that I've been here for over two hours, two and a half hours, Jonas has finally fueled up. This fuel pump's the slowest thing on earth. But we are gonna start working our way north. Jonas has really high cylinder head temps. All right, I'm on uh, a right downwind then. Hey, we're, we're getting better. Hey, go check out this house. I was gonna help him, but I'll just leave this here. So this is like an old beaten down ranch. Whoa. Oh shit, Oh shit, it's an owl. It's an owl? It's a little baby owl. Whoa. <laughs> what, what do you got? You don't want to know. What? There's a hole in the radiator. Okay. I don't know. What do you think? Put some gum in it? <laughs> Plan is he's going to put the radiator in a trash bag and Ty's plane. I'm going to go make room in my super <laughs> packed plane and uh, Jonas is going to ride with me. We found John uh, Roberts, the master welder. Good to go. Thank you. All right, locked and loaded. We've got pizzas. We've got stuff to repair the plane, hopefully. I say hopefully, please let us fix that plane. All right, we made it back to Jonas's plane with the parts. And of course, with my luck, I'm pulling up and right as I'm stopping, I'm like, I don't have as much rudder as I normally have. And I go to reach more brake and something popped. Now I've got no right rudder. It all works for my passenger seat, but not on the pilot side. So what that means is this is going to be home for the night. I think this has been a, a day of struggles. 
Man, so we are having a little bit of a tough go this far. So I'm kind of glad we didn't even try to go to that Arkansas event. I know that we were kind of planning on it. And while I'm a little bummed, I won't have the chance at winning Arkansas. I do still have the chance of winning a 2020 Land Rover Defender 110 first edition and $20,000 cash thanks to the sponsor of this video, Omaze. If you're not familiar with Omaze, they give away one of a kind prizes and experiences while giving money to chosen charities across the globe. And like I said, this time they are giving away a 2020 Land Rover Defender 110 first edition as well as $20,000 to fuel your adventure. Now taxes and shipping are included and you could own the first Defender to come to the US in 23 years and the first redesign in almost 40 years. And support the Chill Foundation. The Chill Foundation inspires youth to overcome challenges through board sports. They work with social services agencies, foster care programs, juvenile justice programs, and schools and local communities. They provide a foundation for learning and growth, supported and enhanced through onboard progression and adult mentorship. Now your impact will be doubled on this one. An anonymous supporter will make a donation directly to the Chill Foundation equal to the amount the charity receives from this experience. So to potentially win a 2020 Land Rover 110 first edition and $20,000 cash and help support the Chill Foundation, go to omaze.com slash Trent. And thanks again to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Now we gotta figure out how I'm gonna get my plane out of here with a broken rudder pedal. And it's either that I fly from the right seat or Ty flies from the right seat and I fly his plane, neither of which I've flown before, so. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. How'd you uh, sleep? Not bad. Did you get cold? To begin with, and then uh, I was hot by the end. I was like stripped out, or I stripped by the time I was done. I was by the time I was waking up. That was the same thing. Roller coaster, hot, cold, hot. Yeah, my feet were freezing. <laughs> Jonas was, did not sleep that great. It was rough. It was rough. Cold, hot. Well, kind of more cold, but I actually slept pretty well. Because I got this new setup, I gotta I got show you guys this. But basically I got this little backpacking cot and then I put my sleeping pad, which is insulated, on top of it. And it was like pillow top comforter. Most comfortable I've been actually camping. It's this tiny little lightweight camping cot. I've got this Static V insulated sleeping pad. And then my little backcountry bed sleeping bag. That was a nice setup last night. Yeah, I don't think you gotta worry. You're gonna like it. They're telling me I should just fly from the right seat and I really should have done this before now and not needed to use it. The good news is, I mean, with where we're at right now, there's no center line, there's nothing to hit. The thing is I wanna get this thing off the ground and over to Homedale, cause again, as unlucky as we are, we're really lucky that we've done these things in somewhere that's relatively close to being able to get fixed. So Kit Fox's factory is only 30 miles from here. I know they're busier than all hell, but maybe they can show me what I need to pull off and I can maybe get them just to weld that part back together. So I just need to get it over to Kit Fox. So I guess I probably should just give it a shot from the right seat. My my problem is, and why I'm worried, is just that I'm, I've got almost a thousand hours in this thing and I've always been left seat, meaning that my left hand is on the stick, right hand's on the throttle, and I'm sitting on the left side of the cowling. So my sight picture is looking down the left side of the bump where the spinner is. Now, when I switch to the right side, I'm not gonna know what's perfectly straight. So there's a good chance I'm gonna land just a little off center and it's gonna wanna go for a ride when I land, which I think I can handle. It's just a little bit of the, the adding that to the switch up of using my left hand instead of my right hand and vice versa. It's just, I don't know, it's funky feeling. Such a familiar plane is going to feel so foreign. Okay, a little bit nervous. Like I know this plane, so it should be fine. It's just I'm worried about the sight picture and the hand swap left to right. It's just everything familiar has gone away, but it's still a familiar plane, so I don't know. Okay, this is gonna be weird. All right, here it goes. Well, no turning back now. LBL traffic, Freedom Fox, six to the southwest, uh, 3,000 inbound landing, home deal. I normally fly so much tighter of a pattern, but my comfort level, again, not very high right now.
Okay, I'm on the ground. Oh, okay, that got me sweating. Jeez, that shouldn't have been that weird, and it's just so foreign feeling that there was like no comfort left in me. I have a set of rudder pills waiting to be assembled. Brandon. <laughs> well, that's good news. I guess you just need to tell me how much work it's gonna be. All right, so we are working on getting the cowling off. Then we gotta pull the boot cowl back. The problem is that the rudder pedals are bolted through the fuselage and through a plate that's covered on the bottom. So basically there's an extra fairing over the bottom. So just to get to the bottom side of the bolt to pull the whole assembly out is kind of an ordeal. So that's what we're working on now. When's this gonna air, Trent? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm done with it, Brandon. Oh, okay. <laughs> There is the culprit. Old, non-gusseted. There's the new ones that are gusseted. And look how well that spins. It's beautiful. There we go. It is new. Brandon. Thank you. Buddy, it was all you. I did not thank you it enough. Was all you, you did all the hard stuff. So, we've decided the likely reason this happened is because of me with stole drags, probably, because what you end up doing is when we stop to do that turnaround, I am like getting as much brake as I can, full rudder to turn me around, and then full rudder to straighten back out, and I'm just, the brakes are hot, they don't work that well, and I'm just pushing through it. I actually dented my firewall by pushing the brakes so hard, so. I just gotta be a little bit easier on the brakes, maybe a little bit less uh, of the stole drag stuff, but thank you. Okay, we are finally ready to go get moving out to Johnson Creek, but we still have to stop at Nampa and get fuel. Ty, can we finally go to the back country? I think we're ready. Is it actually happening? And we finally made it to the back country. Man, that took two full days to get us here, but we've made it. Welcome to beautiful Johnson Creek. Made it right before dark, honestly. Cutting it a little closer than we would have liked, but we had some meandering to do. Had a TFR to avoid. There was actually a pretty crazy fire on the way in here, but we're gonna set up camp and then tomorrow the actual back country flying starts. But I know I've already done so much. I'm not gonna keep this video going. I'm gonna save that one for the next video. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. You guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace. And don't forget, for your chance to win a 2020 Land Rover Defender, go to omaze.com slash Trent.